Hi there, Cancer. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. This is a general love reading for Cancer. Okay. Cancer, a you versus them general love reading. Cancer. Cancer. Okay, can I get a card for Cancer's person, please? It's the Eight of Swords in reverse. Can I get a card for Cancer? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Can I get a card for your person, Cancer's person? Ooh, the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, can I get a card for Cancer? Ooh, the Nine of Pentacles, okay. That's good energy to be in. Can I get a card for your person, Cancer's person? The Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, swords here. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but it's someone that's really in their head. Um, Okay, um, and you got the Eight of Cups in reverse. Shared mutual feelings. The Four of Swords in reverse. This is really interesting. That's a lot of air. And another card for the shared mutual feelings. The Chariot in reverse. Hmm. Your person got the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. I really feel like your person's having trouble getting out of their head, okay? Um, and um, letting go of whatever pain they have associated with this connection or in general, right? And with the Queen of Swords in reverse, um, I'm wondering if they also want to take your guard down. So that could be, so if you have your guard up towards this person, this person is exhausting their mind on how to take your guard down here. Okay. With the queen of swords in reverse. And they're finding it somewhat difficult. Okay. Especially if you've blocked communication with this person or you've put on, uh, you know, you've put up barriers. Because when I'm looking at your energy, you're showing up as this nine of pentacles, okay? Someone that's focused on independence, healing, really being very nurturing towards yourself here. You could very well be single. I feel like with this connection, you got the wheel of fortune in reverse. So I feel like there's like um there could have been a timing issue, but you could have felt like this this circumstance with your person was very unfortunate, okay? Again, when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what that actually means. But with the Eight of Cups in reverse, and I see your person has the... I feel like this is your person's energy. They're not able to detach from this connection. Okay, with the Eight of Cups in reverse. And with the Shared Mutual Feelings, the Four of Swords in reverse. I really feel like I'm picking up on a lot of your person's energy, that they're feeling restless. And with the Chariot in reverse, it's like the, the inability to make a decision or there could be some level of confusion here. So this is really interesting. Queen of Swords in reverse. I really feel like they're they're wanting to take your guard down or they're trying to, um, and, and they're finding it hard. It's like they're exhausting themselves here. But let me clarify, then I'll know what the cards really mean here. So let's clarify the Eight of Swords in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, this is interesting. The Fool... And the King of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. 
okay? They're trying to get out of their head though, or feeling stuck, okay? But um, they're not really taking any action here with the Queen of Swords in reverse as well. Because there could be some barriers here, okay? Um, and with the Fool, it's like they are, they, they're wanting this brand new beginning. They want to take this leap of faith here, right? With the Fool card. Like I said, with the Four of Swords in reverse, uh, they're feeling restless. They could be feeling reckless as well. But let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. judgment in reverse yeah like i feel like your person hasn't made a decision with judgment in reverse let's clarify judgment in reverse the empress in reverse so your person's inability to make a decision possibly made you feel insecure, okay, with the Empress in reverse. So I really feel like you're taking the time towards yourself here with the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be repetitive here because I'm trying to really get down to the energy, okay, and what what's going on for both of you. So let's clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse. There you go, the King of Cups in reverse. Oh, so I see the King of Wands in the upright. Oh, there you go. There's the Emperor. Hmm. <laughs> uh, so I really feel like... Um, this is interesting. They're having trouble um, really letting go of how they feel here, okay? With the King of Cups in reverse, with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Like, they're still very much in their feelings towards you, okay? With the, And it's hard for them um, to let go of how they feel towards you. So you're dealing... So I see the Empress and the Emperor here, right? Then I see the King of Wands and the King of Cups here. So this person could be really stubborn as well, okay? Um, so you could be dealing with a really stubborn person... But it's just, regardless of how stubborn they are, they're they're having trouble getting out of the out of you know, uh, of feeling the way they do towards you, which is clearly there 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 is emotion here, right? There is love with the King of Cups in reverse. Let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's no action being taken here, but. Let me clarify the nine of wands in reverse, the devil in reverse. Okay, so I get it. So you don't want anybody that's just going to be in and out, okay? You don't want any sort of wishy-washy energy. You don't want anything toxic around you with the devil in reverse, okay? So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Doesn't necessarily have to be. I see fire. I see a lot of air, okay? Even water with the king of cups in reverse. Um, but it's like... And the Ace of Cups in reverse. But it's just like you don't want any wishy-washy energy. So this connection could, there's, you know, you could have, there could have been some poor timing issue as well. But I really feel like you're focused on yourself, focused towards healing, independence. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse. Four of Pentacles. They're really stuck on this idea of wanting to take your guard down, like on ways to take your guard down. Why am I getting? There you go, the Four of Wands in reverse. So this could have been a marriage, doesn't necessarily have to be, but I see a clear disconnect, right? With the Four of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse. This, your person does want something brand new here with the Fool card. They want to take this leap of faith. But they're really um, exhausting their mind 
um, when it comes to this connection. And they are feeling restless here. Let me get a card to clarify the Eight of Cups in reverse. There we go, the King of Swords. Your person is not, it's a very stubborn energy and a very determined energy. I really feel like your person's not walking away um, or they're not ready to walk away. Because then I see the Ten of Swords in reverse, right? It's like someone that's not ready to let go of how they feel and they're not ready to um, walk away here. They want to take your guard down. They're really stuck on this idea of doing that. This is interesting because as I'm clarifying and starting to make more sense, let's clarify the Four of Swords in reverse. Five of Swords. Wow. Your person's really determined. And there's a there's a sense of winning at all costs. Like I'm like I'm saying they're really stuck on this idea of wanting to be wanting to win in this situation okay they want the, the it's a really interesting energy it's like a very determined energy so it's a lot of air um k5 of swords four of swords king of swords queen of this is a lot of air energies it's like determination from their mindset here let's clarify the chariot in reverse this is interesting Yeah, someone does not want to be stuck in this feeling of losing something here with the Five of Cups. So this makes a lot of sense now. I feel like your person does not want to um, be stuck feeling like they've lost something that's very important to them, which is being you here. And there is a determination on their part that they win, okay, at all costs. And somehow they're able to take your guard down here or whatever walls that have been built. Um, there's a, a genuine stubbornness on your person's end with the King of Wands, the Emperor, and then the Four of Pentacles, okay? So there is... <laughs> and then I see the King of Swords here. I need to clarify now. But this is going on in their headspace, right? This excessive thinking that is leaving them. It just seems like a lot of mental energy here. Because where's the. I'm just looking for the action based cards, right? So let's clarify the King of Wands. Look at that. It's like the Nine of Swords in reverse. It's like they're trying to get out of their head, okay? Because I really feel like they're, there's a there's a sense of them exhausting their, you know what I mean? Like they're they're just thinking way too much here and they're trying to get out of that though, okay? With the Eight of Swords and really take that leap of faith. So once they overcome whatever it is that they're, you know, like this, this excessive thinking, this excessive plotting, which I see with the Five of Swords, uh, it's like they're trying to get out of that mode, right? And to just take this leap of faith here. Let's clarify the Empress. There you go, Temperance. Like you want a, to achieve a sense of balance, okay? With Temperance here. Like I think you've been patient, okay? With this person and for, you know, for, for quite some time, right? So that's good. You want to achieve some sort of balance. You don't want anything in and out, right? No wishy-washy energy. You don't want anything toxic. Let's clarify the Emperor with the King of Cups in reverse. So this person is having trouble letting go for sure. But look at that, the Knight of Swords in reverse. <laughs> This person's really stubborn and they're 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 really in their head about things, okay? And there's a sense of them being really stubborn as well. But they're not able to let go of how they feel here. Two of Wands in reverse. Yeah, it's like the two of wands in reverse. You don't want any sort of 
someone being indecisive about you, right? Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles with the Four of Wands in reverse. The Six of Cups. So they recognize this as being a, a very special connection. So you could have had a past with this person, okay? Um, they're really holding on to, to this connection stubbornly, okay? Having it, finding it hard to let go of how they feel with the Ten of Swords in reverse, with the King of Cups in reverse. But there's a lot of stubborn energy tied to them with the King of Wands, the Emperor, the Four of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. They're not walking away though. But you seem to be very self focused, okay? So let's clarify the King of Swords. Once they get out of that, you know, that excessive thinking, it'll allow them to move forward here but that's not there you go the king of wands what did i say I, like i feel like you're dealing with this this per, your person is showing up in your energy here definitely king of wands uh, you could be dealing with a fire sign you could be dealing with an air sign you could be dealing with an taurus aries water sign any of the air signs but it just seems like And it's not them showing up in the in reverse. This is someone that's really um, firm and you know what I mean. Very, you could be dealing. It could be a, somebody that's an entrepreneur, somebody that has their own business, but they're very success oriented. And I feel like you have literally thrown this person up, you know, in their feels. Okay, when it comes to you, I'm sort of taken aback by all this king and emperor energy here. It's like they have like it's just interesting it's like they have some sort of claim over you or that's how they're thinking uh with the king of swords like there's an awareness that this is my person sort of thing but what's going on and they're, they're they're really in their head about things let's clarify the four of swords with the five of swords so kind of four of swords in reverse with the five of swords curious as to what sort of person you're dealing with uh, five of swords there you go king of swords in reverse your person's spending a lot of time plotting or thinking about a plan that would allow them to win in the end this is a really interesting reading because it's it seems really It's like, I gotta be repetitive. It's like a very stubborn person that is very much in their head. So they think about things a lot before doing anything. And it's like they're holding on to this, this idea of wanting to take your guard down or Or whatever boundaries you have in place, okay? And they're very stuck on that idea. They're very stuck on that connection. They're not even walk. They don't. They're not walking away with the Eight of Cups in reverse. They're not letting go of you energetically here, right? And it seems like they're they're wanting to win. So if they did take any action, it would have. They would want a po positive outcome here. Interesting. Let's clarify the chariot in reverse with the five of cups in reverse. There you go, the seven of cups. Let's clarify the seven of cups. They're not wanting to... Um, be stuck you know they don't want to be they don't want to feel the loss okay they don't want to feel like they've lost something here uh especially something that's very important to them that being you right for them you detaching from this connection would mean that they've lost something important to them 
and they don't want that to happen. This is a really interesting set. They're, they're looking at their options here. The hair phone in reverse. So the poor timing issue, your person could have been in another connection prior to you um, and, and they're just getting themselves like out of it, okay? It's because I see the four of wands in reverse and now the hair font in reverse, or this could be you, this could be, a, this could have been a marriage here, okay? So if it's not you, it's someone else here. But they're having trouble letting you go. Let me get another card because now I'm really, I need another card to just summarize everything. There you go, Four of Swords. Like I'm, like what I'm saying is like this person is over, like really in their head about you, okay? So, and they're very concerned or very stuck on this idea of taking your boundaries down and really coming out on top here. So wanting there to be a positive outcome. So right now, energetically, they're in their head. They're not really taking any action. It seems like some sort of plotting energy. It's really weird, but you're like, even though this is all going on, um, your energy is more self-directed, okay? Wanting to achieve balance with yourself. I think you're, you're, you have a clear understanding of what you want. You don't want anything in and out. You don't want anything wishy-washy. You don't want anything toxic here, and you don't want anybody to be indecisive when it comes to you right so that's my reading for you today cancer uh this was an interesting one <laughs> i was not expecting it but uh i'll see you next time take care